Hey guys, so this is sort of a post bag. Um, I'm gonna be looking at some of the stuff I bought recently. These are boost converters. So these are the kind of thing, you can see there, it's got a USB on the end of it. You generally plug two to three AA batteries in these, but um, there are a lot of different types I've noticed. So some of them have this sim a similar chipset. So I say chipset, they've got a similar IC on there. Whereas this one has a completely different chipset. There are lots of extra components on there. Uh, and again, it has a, a different uh, inductor from the smaller similar one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of test these out and see what the efficiency's like. Now these are very common on eBay and on AliExpress and all of them cost under a pound delivered. So I bought a few of them and we're gonna have a little test of them to see how much power we need to put in to get a certain amount out. Um, and by messing around with our power supply and with a multimeter, we should be able to work out the efficiency of each one of these types, just to see which one's either worth the money or it was more appropriate for certain types of projects. So this is one that I actually received a long time ago, but I completely forgot about it. I threw it into a parts drawer and then never actually pulled it out. But this is a clap switch. So it's a clap on off switch. Uh, I picked it up from AliExpress. It was about £1.79 delivered, I believe. I'll try and find the page for you. And uh, I'm just looking forward to hooking it all together. It looks like it'll be fun to play around with, maybe hook it up to my oscilloscope so I can see what's going on. But I will put that together eventually. I just completely forgot about it. Another one that I picked up, which is a, I thought was a kit, it turns out not to be a kit. Let me just get something to cut this open with. So I got this at around the same time and I thought it was going to be a kit. But it seems to be all assembled. Now, this is an FM transmitter. So it'll say, I think it says that FM08, November 2015, does that say the 1st of November 2015? Well, that's very recent. So this will take power in here, three to 12 volts. You can stick um, a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack in or use the onboard microphone. I assume there's some kind of switching if it's using the jack, I'm not sure. But we're gonna play around with that and see what the reception's like. And we'll also see if we can figure out what's going on here in the circuit, but not today. I picked up some more of these lithium uh, polymer battery chargers. Well, they're lithium chargers. Um, they're really, really useful. I don't know where these ones came from. They're like the LC technology type. Um, they're very cheap, but all of mine so far have USB type B, and these have micro USB. So I wanted to pick something up where I actually have more cables for it. I think the B is sort of um, going away from normal products these days. So I don't have so many cables around, but I've got a lot more micro ones. So uh, I'll be using these ones in future. While I was hunting around for these uh, little micro chargers, I stumbled across a USB-C cable. This is the one where you can turn it um, either way. So it has connections on both sides. Now I don't have anything to plug this into, uh, but it was only a pound and I really wanted to have a look what the connectors are like and see if I could buy any female connectors for putting onto any of the boards I prototype in the future. But I just wanted to pick one up just so I had it. Next up is one I haven't opened, but I mean, it has suffered quite a lot of damage in the post, but let's just get in here. This isn't a very sharp knife. Right, okay, so I know what these are. This is 1,280, I think, resistors, uh, 128 different types. Oh no, sorry, is that right? Yeah, I believe it's 128 different types, 10 of each. Um, I'm often running out of resistors and I end up going on AliExpress and buying some, some really cheap ones, 100 of, of whatever, but you know, buying so many different types ends up being really expensive. So I thought I'd get some of these. It's got a lot of common values in there and uh, it cost about four pounds for, for this many uh, delivered, which is great. And that was in the UK. It wasn't from China or anything. So uh, it was delivered within two days. So that was very good. 
Next up is another one that I've not opened. Ah, that's what this is. Okay, so I watched a video by BigClive.com recently where he was tearing apart one of these solar powered power banks and he bought it and I think it was a 6,000 milliamp hour. Let's see if it says on here. It doesn't seem to. Ah, uh, 5,000 milliamp hour portable power bank. Now, I bought another one um, because I wasn't sure this one was going to be any good, but it was only five pounds delivered in the UK. So it only took a couple of days to arrive. He took it apart. He said it was okay. It didn't have a great um, sort of capacity. I think he said it was around 2,800, but really, really useful if, for small portable projects where the battery life isn't really paramount or critical to the application, just so long as it has enough for a short period of time. So I really like this. Next up is a little bit of an upgrade from that one. Now, I'm perfectly happy with that um, sort of solar charger, but I was really interested in picking up one from a reliable maker. So uh, Anchor do excellent cables and they do really good power banks. So I picked this up. So can I just pull that off? Yeah. Um, and it was about 17 pounds. So it was more than three times the price of that cheap one. And this one is a 5,200 milliamp power battery. Uh, is that right? 5,200. And it's pretty simple. It just has a button to, to check the power level. So it's a, it's a rough estimation. So it's saying it's sort of 75% charged. But I mean, the gap between 75% charged and 50% is quite massive. So it might be closer than you think. What else do we get in here? So we get a uh, short USB cable, so that's good. USB to micro, so that's to charge it, I believe. Yeah, so it's to charge it and to charge your devices. And we get a little bit of a, a little sort of carry pouch. Uh, so I'm really pleased with that. I just wanted to get one that actually I knew worked. This is for sort of my mobile phone. It isn't for projects. So next up, we've got some crystals. These are 12 megahertz crystals. These will be going along with a PCM2704. These little chips here. So this is the PCM2704. It's in an SSOP28 package. Uh, and I picked up a couple of these little adapters as well. They'll mean that I can breadboard this up before I commit it to a PCB and make sure that it works. So with that, I've also got these little um, 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. Now that's if I want to plug anything into these or if I want to get the sound out through headphones. To amplify that sound that's coming out of this USB DAC, I've picked up some PAM8403. These are my favorite amplifiers, audio amplifiers. Now, I won't be using them on the board. I'll be taking the chips off, but to buy the chips individually, it was costing an awful lot of money. So getting them on their pre-built pre modules is so much cheaper and I can just take that chip off there. I can even reuse the components if I want to, or if I really, really want to, then I can just um, put some pins through those, uh, the holes that are pre-drilled there and plug it on the top of my board if I really want to. Right, almost the last thing. Um, I picked up two of these. These are little dry erase boards. Now I use one already um, to write things down, projects that I need to do or need to finish. And they're really useful. But I found these two ones and they're magnetic and they come with a couple of magnets and a pen that has a little eraser on the top and they were only a pound. I couldn't believe it. So I'm really happy I found those. It means I can stick them up on the wall or around my desk or something. Now the last thing is this. This is a seven watt solar USB charger. So it's actually just a solar panel and it says it's seven watt, but I kind of want to test that out. So it's from Porter Power and they're an okay make. They make some reliable products. So I thought this might actually be reliable. Now if we look at the back, it says solar panel five volts at seven watts. Um, solar panel quantity two pieces. Okay, I suppose it is. 
Um, 400 grams, uh, monocrystalline solar panel with one amp voltage regulated output from USB socket. So one amp isn't seven watts at five volts, is it? So I'm not sure what's going on there, but we'll put it all together and figure it out. Let's see if we can get it open. Okay, so we've got a little iPod pins. So this is kind of old because no one uses those ones anymore. Got some instructions. I'll ignore those. I just want to see inside. Oh, it's magnetic, so it closes magnetically. So they're pretty big panels. Uh, I don't think that's waterproof. And then there's our, I assume regulated, there are screws on there, we can take that apart. This is our regulated output. So this is going to be used in the summer when we've got a bit of sunshine and I can do some projects outside and perhaps do some weather monitoring with an Arduino. Um, and I was hoping to put this outside, but it doesn't actually look waterproof. So I might have to rethink that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. and. Um, I'll get back to you on some of these projects in the future. Certainly, I'll be talking to you about the, the clock that I'm creating and the USB speakers, which are going to be very cool.